Hello, I wanted to give you an overview of the leader guide that comes with the children's uh, lessons. And so that way you can look through it, get an understanding of what's going on and be able to provide a good uh, study for your children each week. And so this is uh, Unit 28, Session 1. And so this is our lesson. And so this is called the leader guide. And yeah, it is 16 pages as you guys can see, but you don't need to worry about all of those pages. Okay, so let's look at the outline real quick, introduce the story, teach the story, apply the story. So these are the three sections of this lesson that we have. So introduce the stories, the first 10 to 15 minutes, uh, teach the story is 25 to 30, and apply the story is 25 to 30. So on Sunday mornings, I just wanna give you a heads up, Usually we don't introduce the story because the children are in the church with the families and having corporate worship, amen? And so usually the large teaching that we have, we gather junior and senior together and we do this part. Then when we break off into smaller groups, we apply the story. Then the junior high leader will teach their um, section there and then the senior high leader will teach the section there. This leader Bible study is just the... Uh, idea for you to get acquainted with the lesson and for you to understand what's going on. It's like a little devotional for you so you can uh, prepare your heart for what's going on. Okay, now this is the Bible story again. And so on the videos, whatever is in the bold is on the pre-K video and the other video has every word here. So that's the differentiation here on the Bible story is that the Bold words are on the pre-K and all the words are on the junior and senior, okay? Here's the Christ connection. This is how everything ties together. So remember that. Try to understand that as you're teaching your children. The Christ connection each week. So then we got introduced the story. Now, like I said, this is usually the time when, when kids are showing up at the beginning of a service, but we don't use that because our children are with their families at that time. But you can look through some of the activities and maybe get ideas on, on how to interact, play games, session starters, and everything with your children. So you look at the different options here and uh, how you can interact with your children. Now this is the, the what we call our large group, uh, but this is where you teach the story. This is where it starts to come together. So this is probably where you want to start and get the idea here. Countdown, we don't worry about it, but you can look at introduce the session and you can do different things here. They give you some ideas on how to interact and what to do to present the lesson. And But you can make up your own or you can adjust things as you like. Big, question, big picture question is right here. And so you can go through that as well. You got a timeline. You don't have that. We have it up on the wall when you sign in or in the rooms as well. But you can also go to lifeway.com and find one of those to print off if you would like. If not, I can provide you one. Let me know. Send me an email and I can send that to you. Now we're going to tell the Bible story right here. And so you can. this is where you can show the video. And so you'll play the video and interact with them. And this gives you some leader ideas on how to interact with the video once it's over. Then, of course, the Christ connection as well. There's a key passage each week, and uh, we have a poster usually posted up for each section or unit in, in uh, a children's ministry, so they can memorize that. Usually we hand out some candy and everything for them, memorizing scripture. You guys can print your zone out and have that available. Like I said, here's the video. You introduced the uh, lesson back then, and then you guys can discuss it through here. You can sing if you want. You can have your own praise time. You can put up YouTube videos of songs that you all know. And of course, uh, take time to pray. Now this is dismissed into small groups and here's a small group right here. And But I just wanna remind you, before we get to small group, there's, it's called the gospel, God's plan for me. And so all of our leaders uh, understand this page. They've gone through it a lot. And it's also on a big poster in the hallway uh, of the children's ministry, the idea of very simple gospel message as well. So that is right there. Okay, now apply the story. This is where we usually break off into smaller groups, but this is where you want to continue your lesson with your children. There's some interactions here. Um, and uh, so a lot of things are here, Bible story review and Bible skills. 
So this is how it's set up. Here's some review questions that you can talk with your children about. Activity choices, again, you've got some at the beginning, some at the end. You can look online for different uh, activities to solidify the lesson with your children. And so just want to know, even though it's 16 pages long, uh, here's the journal and prayer piece as well. We have coloring pages as well for your kids, as you can see that's mentioned down here. So there's a lot of things that we have for your children between coloring pages, activity pages, journal pages, videos. Combine that all together and you have a solid lesson for your children, okay? Any questions you need, just give me a, a call here down at the church or send an email probably because we're not at the church that often now with COVID. Uh, so just send me an email at uh, pastorrobertsworldkenya.org or anything else I can help you with. Uh, do not uh, hesitate, okay? All right, we'll talk to you.